this video is going to be a little bit different than our other botany and beer videos. Uh, usually we just sit down and talk about a plant, but uh, I've been asked a lot, what does a botanist yard look like? Less exciting than you probably think, however, uh, however, I have a lot of sedges in my yard. So I figured I'd highlight some of the graminoids um, and how to landscape with those. One thing that, that we, I don't see enough in landscapes is sedges. And sedges make an incredible addition to your landscape if you wanted a native landscape or if you just want a manicured ugly lawn. So what I will do is show you uh, in this video some of the cool sedges, how I use them in my landscape, and how I'm using them in my landscape. All right, so let's take a trip into my mess that I'm certainly in. It's just constant. This is the thing about landscaping. It's a constant, uh, constant fight between what you want and what you don't want. I hate to say good and bad. It's just, you know, whatever you're, you're gunning for. This is a sedge that you should have in your yard. It goes crazy. I love it. It's called the graceful sedge, Carex gracilima. And you can see where it gets that. So, uh, so here you can see, let me grab one here. You can see it drooping drooping down here, but lovely sedge. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? But you can see it's kind of taking over a little bit. It's taking over, so I'm, I'm moving it in a place where it can behave a little bit. I have my little bog here. And here we have a stand of Carex cruscorvi, the raven's foot sedge, Carex cruscorvi. It has that big blue. This is one of my favorite landscaping sedges. It likes it a little wet though, so it's doing quite well where the water kind of drains here and sets. A little bit we got some bromus latta glumus that is actually taken off a little bit here i've got to i've got to trim that up but the character true scorby is more clump forming you can see the inflorescence just starting to come up here we're in the beginning to mid may uh so by june it's going to be popping with some really gnarly looking cool inflorescence and then again uh bromus latta glumus we did a video on that uh check it out sometime you can see the blue bromus latta glumus um grows a little taller uh here it grows about two to three feet max um and so uh, it, it's a nice edge uh, species here. We keep going, just looking at the side here, the Rudbecki has taken off more than I'd like it to. Uh, but here, this just showed up. But it actually that looks really nice. Uh, it's Carex frankii. Carex frankii, another nice clump forming, um, wonderful sedge. One that I, I don't see in landscapes much, but, uh, but it's, it seems to really like this spot and does very well here. Um, and then we move over here. This is one of my favorite landscaping sedges. This is uh, Carex um, hertifolia, Carex hertifolia. And this is a fuzzy wuzzy sedge. So you can see if we look down here, how fuzzy it is. It's all soft and fuzzy. The only thing about something like Carex hertifolia, and then look at these, look how lovely that is, is that it, it kind of droops down. And a lot of the sedges you'll see that, especially after a rainstorm, they just kind of lay flat. So they kind of lose their shape. So sometimes what I do if I care enough is take a string and tie them up a little bit just to make them look nicer or trim them, you know. And this one is great for shaded areas. And I got some Veronica's I got to weed out. Um, great for shaded areas. This is Carex plantigenia. Carex plantigenia. And you can see it likes the shade. Uh, it likes kind of, I, I help the soil get a little more rich soil here because it likes this nice, it's a woodland alluvial soil. But look at these. Look how nice. It doesn't grow any taller than this. I got a little Carex albercina here, right there. Uh, not as happy as, as the uh, Carex plantain. So there's a sister species here though, that I'll show you in a second, that is, um, that is excellent. My test at, um, so there's the, the plantain, uh, Carex plantagenia. And then over here we have Juncus tenuous. I'm seeing what I can do here with Juncus tenuous, uh, um, seeing if I can make a, it's not really working out as planned, but I lost some soil in a rainstorm, so I gotta, Gonna restructure this, seeing how that goes. But here's a just a lovely look at this Lanicera reticulata, huge. Love the native honeysuckles, just love them. So then moving across this weedy path, which I just have to, I just it's one thing. I just there's, I have so much weeds in my yard. Um, see Asclepius exultata poking through here, but you can see the uh, the Carex um, cephaloidea, Carex cephaloidea growing. It, like I said, it can get weedy. Stupid Bromus japonicus is growing in here as well. That's not native, uh, not welcomed in my yard. But uh, this this hairy leafed brome, or this whatever you call it, fuzzy brome. Coming to my favorite spot. So here, see this blue sedge here? Let's go down and take a look here. This blue sedge, clump forming. Um, these I planted, uh, I separated and planted earlier this year. Um, they, uh, they look like they got stepped on or sat on. This is Carex laxaculmus. Look how blue-green these the leaves are, how wide they are. 
just awesome sedge. And then next to it, we again the fuzzy Carex hurt um, hurt of uh, hurt of folia. Uh, we saw that in a little more mass in the back where you can see the big clumps. But this is this one I planted earlier in the year as well. And then we have things like Carex springallii, which uh, you can see that it's a little taller. You can see it's the taller one, and it's drooping here, right here. You can see the the droops, and it really complements. Uh, the other sedges, in my opinion. And then again, uh, not again, in Carex communis, Carex communis here, another green, lovely clump forming sedge. So there's a whole variety of sedges you can use. And a lot of these are shade tolerant. So Carex laxacomus is a lot more shade tolerant. Uh, it handles a little more dry soil as well. So we have things like uh, Carex grizzia, which is a, a, a little, can handle a little more disturbance. Look how nice the clump is. That's about as tall as it gets. Um, Carex grizzia, Carex blonda, which is a common sedge that just, it's just kind of weedy, but I like it because it, it, it really, it, these nice little clumps, um, and it looks really nice. The coloration looks great. So mostly a lot of these sedges are woodland sedges. Um, and then, uh, we have Carex, and I'll show you from the outside what that looks like, but Carex bromoides and Carex pennsylvanica, really weird bedfellows, but both of those are growing on the side. Oh, and then as we walk... All the Carex bromoides, right there, Carex bromoides. And then right here we got some Carex pennsylvanica, all just, just hanging out, looking for the sunshine, looking for the sunshine, just loving it, just loving it. And coming over here to where it's really shaded, uh, remember we talked uh, about the Carex plantaginea, this is a sister species, I got so much violence trying to get rid of. Uh, this is a sister species, this is Carex cariana, Carex cariana, another really cool woodland sedge, great. Look at the size of those perigenia there. Uh, great landscaping sedge. I love it. I absolutely love it. I mean, look at this. Look at that. Look how thick those leaves are, especially for your shade gardens or your little shaded fairy gardens, you know. Um, it's pretty, pretty good sedge. And then we have uh, Carex swanii in here. It's a little early to really see that and show that off. Um, poas, of course, you get your poa pretensis. Stupid Kentucky, I say stupid Kentucky bluegrass, but then look at my lawn. Yes, even botanists have lawns. Uh, like to play soccer on them. Let's take a look in the front here. You can see uh, Carex grayi. Carex grayi, this, as tall as it gets. This is one, there's a little bit of a wet spot here, so I put it here and it's doing quite well. This is gonna have a, a really club-shaped cool perigenia. You can see it's in flower right here, but look how lovely and tall this is. And again, we have stupid uh, Kentucky bluegrass um, growing in here, uh, Poa pretensis. Um, which is gets quite annoying. I have to come over here and weed it out. But then we see here Carex grizzia. So again, they they get a, cup, a foot and a half tall, uh, to foot tall. Not very big. Um, it, it's great structure. It really adds to the landscape value. Uh, we have Carex um, rosea over there as well. But let's walk over here so you can really see what I'm doing with the sedge garden. Look at how how awesome this is. And. I'm a little biased, right? So right here with this, we have Carex albercina. Carex albercina, look at these bracts. Look at the, it's a little more bluish green color. Bluish green color, again, clump forming. Uh, behind it, we have more Carex rosea. I just I just planted some more Carex gracilima here to see how that does. Uh, Carex deweyena, right next to me. Carex deweyena, really dewy sedge, really neat one. And then over here, we have more gracilima. As you can see, um, uh, cephaloidia, um, let's just keep moving here, Carex grizzia. So we have a whole, a whole suite of different, and you can see the, all the different textures and colors in the leaves. See that? Look how awesome that is. Look at this. Look at this. Carex cephaloidia. Look at these baggy sheaths right here. Carex pennsylvanica growing right in. This one's going to be more of a, of a, uh, lawn. This is as tall as it gets. So, tall, so this is actually really tall for it. But this is uh, it grows. This is a, another lawn alternative that you see often. They use this. The one thing I will say is you can see here. This is where my dog runs, and the this, the Carex doesn't really like that. It's not going to grow there if the dogs are running. Okay, uh, so that's one thing to keep in mind. Look at this. Who doesn't want a sedge? Look at the different heights, the colors, uh, a sedge garden. I don't even want to call this a lawn because it's not a lawn. This is a lawn, right? It's a lawn. A very used lawn, but it's a lawn. But then look at this. I mean, just the, the landscape value of sedges is just, is just awesome.